to another video of Gemini 1.5 Pro Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about function calling. What is function calling and how it helps in terms of LLMs? Function callings provides Gemini new way to look at your data and interact with the system. For example, if you are looking to get real-time information with enhanced factuality, meaning you are able to go and run an API through calling a function that can get you real-time information, right? Like weathers, stock prices, news update. You can expand the capabilities internally within your organization by calling CRM application or ticketing application or Maximo or other application. Here, the LLM becomes a base to be able to interact with multiple applications. And finally, you can have multiple steps of function calls that can be run in a chain, in a circuit, in order to automate a lot of process. For example, if you want to book a ticket to Paris, it'll handle from flight bookings to hotel bookings and even adding those into your calendar onto your calendar. Let's look at this. So an example is, what's the time in New York? If you ask LLM to do it, I don't know, but some of the LLMs can hallucinate. Here, you are removing that hallucination by making a real-time call outside the LLM realm to a weather.com for it, or time.com, for example. So, if you want to get the weather or if you get the want to get the current stock price, you can still use LLM to be able to call that function. Let's see how. You have a user query that is run against Gemini. So a user queries against this LLM model Gemini. The Gemini understands the query and it maps the request to a function. Map. A function map is basically declaration of different types of functions. In our example, we have current time function, weather function, and you can call other APIs as well. So this is the function declaration. This step only defines what's needed for the function. Example, current time function needs the location or the time zone. Weather function would lead, need the latitude, lat longitude, as well as the location. And then based on this, you make API calls. So in examples, I'm gonna show it to you from the backwards. So for example, let's look at the API calls. Then we'll look at the function declaration. And then we'll look at the mapping tool. And then we go run the code. Let's do it. So API calls, look at this step which is the last step, I'm going backwards, you are able to run an API against the world time API. All it needs a time zone. So an API call that needs to happen to time would need a time zone. And this time zone would be provided by the LLM. Make sense? So it's a combination of what LLM thinks that the time zone is, and then it makes a call to this particular API. The same with weather. I'm going to talk to you on that as well in the, in the in our example. Now, you have function declaration. This is where you declare the function. So you are declaring that I may be calling, or you could potentially end up calling a current time function. The name of the function get current time is this one. Look at that. The API call get current time. Description, get the current time and date in a given time zone. You have parameters in which you have a time zone. This time zone, which is a parameter, is passed in the API call function. So again, this is only the function declaration. And look at this. This is a parameter that the function needs. And this is how the mapping tool looks like. In the mapping tool, you would see you have get current weather function and get current time function. So this is the function declaration. 
and then the function declaration maps to the the function the real function repeat one more time get time function is a function declaration which in term turn calls get current time let's look at the map one more time so this is get time current time and this is get current time function declaration make sense when you look at the code it will make more sense with this let's look at the code right now uh, i'm quickly gonna scroll down and run the code first and then we'll come and explain you the code if i run what's the weather like in the new york city today it calls the get current weather it needs the lat the location and the longitude we have defined these arguments that llm needs to provide and then you call get current weather with longitude latitude and location you would get the temperature what's the time in new york city now we have seen this already the input is get current time the function name is current get current time the input is time zone and you are able to call this function make sense let's see how it work so if you go in here you install this make sure after you install you restart the system so restart the kernel before proceeding okay perfect next import time and these import libraries next authenticate i'm running on google colab what you're going to do is in the video description section below you have a gitlab github link go in here say file and download pynb the notebook and run this you need to get weather api key the weather api key can be uh, can be made available through weatherbit.io use the free one because you are just doing the testing and if you need further different plans you can do that again you can pick and choose any api so i need that api key please don't try to use this because once i am done i'm going to delete this api key you have the project the location and you initiate the vertex ai project this is the function which calls the api so you have get current weather and get current time recall that when you call the function get current time is the function that calls we have not declared it yet so you have to do it bottom up right you need to first declare the current weather function that calls the api and then get current time which calls the api these are the actual api calls and then this is the function declaration piece get current weather is the name of the function here and the description is where llms does it get the current weather in a given location use the knowledge your knowledge of latitude and longitude to get the weather for the location this is the description this is the prompt that the llm would use to find out which function to call i repeat this description is very important because this is the the key for the llms to find out which function should i be calling go in here you say get current time function get the current time function and date in a given location use this tool blah 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 and then you have objects and time zone this is the mapping tool wherein you are declaring that you have two functions you can have google search and other functions as well so again api calls function declaration and the the sql query now let's run the model please note that i am using gemini 1.5 pro 0409 very the latest model the greatest model from google and then you push tools as the mapping tool this you need to push when you initiate the model this will tell the model to use the function map in order to call the functions make sense now let's declare 
so these are the prompts and these are very simple prompts here. Now, please look at my previous videos to explain how it works. This current date and time and location is to is to understand how much time it takes in 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 case of chat. So in here, you are declaring a prompt and a question, and this is the prompt. You are a Gemini, a large language model trained by Google. You have a tool to be used in the following circumstances for current weather or time. This is just a prompt. You can look at the prompt and enhance it if you like. And these are the 10 messages. These are the prompts back to the model. And this is the function call. So based on the response, you make a call to the current weather and current time. And based on these responses, you can send a message back to the user. So this is sending the back messages back to the user. Just go through it. These are self-explanatory. And at the, at the end of it, you see the entire response. Again, I repeat one more time. In the main message, declare the current time. It's not required, but I'm using the current date for the prompts, sorry. Next, you have a tool. This is the prompt engineering, prompt instruction tuning. Then you have a chat message initiation to the model. And then you say, you can have a chat. Basically, this can be attached to a dialogue flow chat. And in the chat, the first response, I'm making it to current weather or current time, depending upon where it goes. And I'm printing the API response. At the end of it, this is a construction that I am doing. It's very self-exploratory. It, 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 it makes you understand how a backend call is done using function calling. And at the end of it, I'm returning back the response. And when I run, what's the weather like in New York City today? It gives you the response like this. It tells you which function it called, as well as what the time in New York City. Again, this notebook is available on the GitHub link provided in the video description section below. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching.